What grinds my gears? Mining resume services. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters and in today's video I'm going to have a quick chat with you about some of the appalling resumes people keep on sending to me and I don't mind that people send me their resumes to me that's fine but I'm you know overseeing all these um, resumes come through that are supposedly being done by people that are within the industry and performing a service that's supposed to know how mining works and they're just atrocious. They're just full of spelling mistakes and errors and they don't read right and a lot of the information's not easily accessible and you know it's just a complete mess. And as I've said in other videos in the five years that I've been doing this for at the moment I've only come across two companies that I trust doing my resume apart from underground training and that's uh, Jess at Beyond and uh, Jasmine at Ruby's Resumes. There are everybody else that I've come across, nobody, nobody puts out a decent product. Um, they're either outsourcing their stuff overseas or they're just clueless about how the mining industry works. I don't have a problem with people sending me their stuff in so I can have a look at it. That's not an issue. More than happy to have a chat with you about it all. But it really, you know, I'm over, yeah, people take spending 500 to to $1,000 on a resume that's just not going to help them. And so what you need to keep in mind when you're doing these things, so if you come over to the Underground Training website in the employer's in the sorry in the new starters column if you go down you've got resumes before and after and you'll be able to see some of the videos that i've already done on resumes before so i've had a bit of a a, um, a rage about it before but yeah you can have a look at some of those but if you have a look at this the after i'll just click on that and this is what we produce and the whole reason that we produce it like this is because the foremen are busy people we're making this resume for the foreman we're not making it for anybody else neither should um, if you're getting your resume done professionally for a mining job, it should be for the foreman. And really, you're spending $500 or however much you're spending on it, um, it's only for mining. It shouldn't be able to be used for anything else, really. You're, you're, you're really just wanting you know, to put that across, that you're wanting to get into the mining industry, and this is how you're going to do it, and this is what you've done to advance yourself and learn how it all works, or whatever you think you've done to get in. You need to have that on the front page, because like I say, foreman are busy people they don't like hiring new starters it's a chore they go through more than 50% of them it feels like a non-win situation at times unfortunately so they're looking for anything that you can get out of a person that's already put themselves a little bit ahead that's where the training really comes into it really well and then you're just trying to put uh, you know your, your, your brief history of your work experience some interests and two contactable references really important that you put two contactable references on there if you don't have two contractable references often it's going to get booted out of the system straight away before it gets read the number of resumes that I get sent that have been done professionally by people that are supposed to know how the mining industry works that have only got one reference on it is astounding um, yeah it's just yeah, I don't understand how people that claim that they're in the industry don't know this. Um, yeah, and so this video is all about trying to impress upon people that yes, a good resume is important for getting a mining job, but if you spend 500 or or $1,000 on a resume thinking it's going to be a golden ticket and it's going to get you a job at one of these mines, it may well get you in the door. A lot of people are writing resumes for people and sending them to Kalgoorlie, and a number of those people get jobs. But the test of time is, are they still there after six months? If your resume writer that's writing you this wonderful resume and is telling you that they're going to help you get a job isn't telling you that 60% um, of the people that go to these jobs fail then your resume writer is setting you up to fail they're not setting you up for success you need to know exactly what you're walking yourself into if you want a job on one of these mine sites otherwise you just you're paying a thousand dollars for bad advice or you're paying five hundred dollars for bad advice it's just setting you up for failure and so that's what I just want to talk to people about is that if you do get it done, get it done properly, get it done by somebody that knows how it all works from the industry. Majority of the people out there selling resumes that claim to have been from the industry aren't. You know, that they were ancillary staff. They didn't actually do any of the actual mining jobs. Yeah, it's just, 
yeah, it really grinds my gears, unfortunately. And shout out to the Family Guy for um, the title of that video. I just thought that that was a very apt to what um, we're trying to get at. And I've been encouraged to do a few more of these videos as things that, you know, I just see and I've seen for a long time that just don't work, you know, and try and share it with people, you know, that you, you're you going to get the right advice to get the right result. And at the moment, you know, a lot of people are getting crap advice when they're signing up for these resume packages that are just setting them up to fail. Um, yeah, like I said, if the person writing the resume isn't telling you that, you know, it's three and five fail in the first six months with all these production jobs and off-sider jobs, then they're totally setting you up for failure. Um, yeah, if you want to increase your chances of, it, of how it all works and know how it all works, then the training's the go. Um, you can sign up for it. And for what a lot of people sign up for a, um, a resume service, you can get your resume done and you can um, do the, the training as well. So the um, three-step plan package that we do, it, it only costs $825. And that is, you know, what most people are being charged for a resume and their LinkedIn service and all the other little frilly bits around the edge. Um, people are paying anywhere from $500 to over $1,000 for those things. So for for $825, you can sort yourself out with the training and you can also get a resume that's going to talk to the foreman when you, um, your resume gets to their desk. Because, yeah, you know, I say it in this, in this um, page here, you know, you've got six seconds to show the employer, you know, something about how the mine works. Otherwise, you're just in the pile with everybody else that doesn't know what's going on. If you do, you've got something to offer them and that's how people get jobs through us and lots of people get jobs. So, yeah, so that's what's grinding my gears at the moment. All the resumes that keep on getting sent to me that are all um, being done professionally that people have spent a lot of money on that are full of spelling mistakes and grammatical errors and just wrong. They just read wrong. And, you know, you can understand why they're getting ditched straight away. Um, yeah, it's just the people that are doing these resumes have got no idea about actually what goes on in the foreman's office when they're hiring people. It's as simple as that. So that's what grinds my gears. I hope everybody found that information helpful and if you could like this video and subscribe, that would be wonderful. Thanks.